All right, let's take on these example questions for our trapezoid lesson. Uh, what we have here for example A is the trapezoid TRAP, and it says what is the measure of angle A down here? Now we know, first of all, that our left side and our right side are the same length, and we know this isn't a parallelogram because our measurement here tells us that those two sides can't possibly be parallel. So if this is not a parallelogram and those two sides are the same, then this must be an isosceles trapezoid, which means that our two base angles down here must be the same. And if those two angles are the same, these two angles up here are the same, which tells us that we have 115 degrees. And another 115 degrees plus twice angle A is all equal to 360 degrees, like any other quadrilateral. So now we have 115 twice, that's 230, plus twice angle A is 360. We subtract 230 from both sides. So right here, we have twice angle A is equal to 130 degrees. So we divide both sides by 2, and we get angle A is 65 degrees. And if angle A is 65 degrees, then so is angle P. And we already notified this one, or identified this one as 115 degrees, so now we have all the measurements of all four angles. Let's take a look at example B. Example B says, is zoid an isosceles trapezoid, and how do we know? Well, this is actually really easy, because remember, if it's an isosceles trapezoid, the two base angles have to be equal. And since this one is 40 degrees, and this one's 35 degrees, this obviously cannot be. No, it's not, because the base angles are unequal. Base angles. Go. All right, and for example C, we know that 20 is the average of these other two bases, so that tells us that 20 is equal to 5x minus 15 plus 2x minus 8 all over 2. So if we start by multiplying both sides by 2, these 2's will cancel, and we'll get 40 is equal to, and then we can combine our like terms here, 5x and 2x is 7x, and negative 15 and negative 8 is negative 23. So now we have 40 equals 7x minus 23. We add 23 to both sides, cancels here, and we get 63 equals 7x, divide both sides by 7 cancels here, and we get x equals 9. So that tells us that if x is 9, then we have 5 times 9, which is 45, minus 15, that's 30. So this base was 30, and 2 times 9 is 18, minus 8 is 10, so this base is 10. And of course, the average of 30 and 10 is 20, so we know we got it right. There we go.